Hello and welcome back to the back nine of our practice round of the 2024 Music City Open. Joined by our guest, Paul Macbeth, our generation's goat. Yules, Macbeth. We're here at Millridge Park. They've made a lot of adjustments. So we've got to learn. <laughs> we got a lot to learn out here. Uh, the wind's blowing, making it kind of tricky to score. And like all practice rounds, our scoring's not great. Honestly, <laughs> um, as you know, we do a giveaway every practice round. This will be signed at the end of the round. McBeth's already been using this quite a bit. We got a cicada here. And so all you have to do to be entered in automatically to win this thing is just be a Patreon member. That's all you got to do. Any thoughts? Are you guys going to throw it? I'm not going to throw it. Oh, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Yules? I'll throw it. On this hole? <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, you can throw, you can dance like a dog. Okay, hole 10, par 4, 783 foot, brand new hole here. Uh, we've thrown from this area before over the water, but never for a par 4. We've got a strong headwind here that's going to really make it difficult to clear this water and get into good position. It says on the T sign, any OB shot goes to a drop zone, which I believe is where Josh is standing right now at catch cam. So um, take something overstable and throw it as hard as you can, I think is the best play. He stole my box. Uh oh. It's great. Yep. That's amazing, dude. That's your shot, though. That's Thank your, you. You're going to take that. <laughs> so, since you took his box, does that mean that's his drive? He birdied? Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. This is your drive now. No. <laughs> He's on a Terry Roethlisberger. Get through it. Oh, sit down. No offense, Terry. Roethlisberger. Miss you, dude. How are things going? Was that TI Force? Yeah, the really yeah. overstable one. Yeah. I'm actually going to throw one more. Just ah, Terry was more stable than you thought. <laughs> I feel like it's a trap to walk that way. Yeah, this is. The trick. This is the, this is the trap? I mean. Yeah, it's a big circle. Oh boy. But it's a prettier path. That one's kind of ugly. This is like a nice little, this is like, this is the path you would walk if you had a date. We made, we made the wrong decision. All right. I'm glad they changed the tea, the tea box. <laughs> <laughs> this was, I'm glad they adjusted this hole. Wasn't this like crazy it just floods. mud last year? Yeah, it floods. I mean, it still could be this year too. Yeah. Okay, the basket's nowhere near where I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was up by a tall tree. I thought I saw it up at the tree. All right, now this hole is way different than... Is it even gettable now? Well, it looks like there's a whole wall of just nothingness in front of the basket. Like, I was like, okay with my shot. I was like, okay, now I can throw it up to that tree, but... I kind of like it up by that tree. I wish it was up there. I mean, because look at, well, I mean, if I'm back here, I'm throwing on the side of a hill, but, but to like bring a, to bring a forehand back up is hard. You can't throw a forehand here because it's not going to climb up the hill. It seems so hard. Also, I love that the drop zone is just further than our drives are getting. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The grass is too thick to throw a roller. That was a great shot, Paul. In front of it. <sighs> Dang. I don't know what to do. I didn't hate mine. I just, the side hill made me throw it high. I don't like the idea that a great, or a, a, a decent drive doesn't really give me that much of an advantage. You know what I mean? No, you just get a weird shot like us. All right, that corner's only 280. 
basket's 370. Trying to sneak it inside. Yeah, just guy. inside the big one. Let yeah. the hill pull it down. That's what I thought. I just don't think that's going to come up the hill. It's trying, though. It's in the circle. How come you didn't throw your roller like you thought? <laughs> well, no, I'm, I don't think it's a roller, but... Oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I don't yeah. know what the approach is on this one. You think it's exactly what you just did. You can't go back door. Yeah. There's Dude, trees there's... that block you the whole entire way. Is you it... have to go out, around, over, or push it, I guess, deep through that gap? Deep through that gap seems like the backhand entry. So there's an airplane crash right here in this tree, in the dead tree. What? You'll see it as you get further. <laughs> there's an airplane. Oh, yeah, there literally is. And then there's a kite up in this tree. Oh, my God, this place <laughs> hates flying objects. Yeah, there's another kite up there. <laughs> there's three kites. Yeah, there's a plane crash right there. Three, three kites in these trees. Four, four kites. There's four of them. When, two in this one. Two in this. Bro, tree. look at this guardian they put for the backhand. That's so. Oh, I didn't dumb. even see this one back here. This is crazy. Why is this a kite graveyard? <laughs> Why is this a backhand? There's a kite handle graveyard. right here. <laughs> it is a kind of a backhand graveyard. All right, I need to try to throw look at this. Thing. You guys are. You think I'm gonna be able to fit anything back there? No. Probably deep, deep. Yeah. Then there's OB deep. What? You would never find that though. That's not in. What do you mean? You're gonna have to flex something to get past this. Yeah, no problem. I just feel like that would be so. It would be crazy to see someone go OB deep backhand second. I didn't realize how cr much crap there was over here. Like th I didn't see this. Yeah, grouping. yeah, that, that's in the way. But I still like. Up there, pocket. yeah. Yeah, I just hit this just crap. No, this guy right here. Inside Jim's, the big boy. Jim's forehand got down there. You gotta get way up there off that T-shirt. His forehand got there? Oh, yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to drop? Yeah, probably before the limbs. Damn. Hmm? I said, yeah, before the limbs. I didn't want to just go raging past it. I went to, I was like, all right, you're getting too far away. Let me try to throw my forehand in. I just threw it right here. <laughs> oh! Oh, you hate to see it. Told you this place hates backhands. <laughs> I think it would have spit out on any basket. Well, it's only because it's uphill in a headwind, which is when our baskets stop working. Yeah. <laughs> of course it doesn't lift into a headwind. Why would it not lift? Go for it. On that one. I'm gonna try to start jamming them. Ah, oh, I thought I took your Almost. chains. Mine was any more left. Wait, he might spit out again. Wait. Oh. That was a well-played hole, sir. Yeah, you literally threw three perfect shots and got a bogey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Now sucks. what do we do? I think we go back down that way. Play old 18? Uh, no, I think it's old two or old one. Okay. No? No, you're right. Maybe it's old 18. We go uh, here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Hole 11, par 3, 400 feet. Off a hole. Just no thought into the design. Just throw a big old hyzer. Nothing in the way. There's no way to look at the hole. I think this is the worst hole I've ever seen. I don't really get it. I think it's officially the worst hole I've ever seen on a piece of property. What the heck? Uh, it's a normal shot. For the it's, your, it's your shot. It's your tee pad. Yeah, it's your box, man. You took my answer. You earned oh, He bogeyed. No. <laughs> yeah. He yeah I, that's why I got spit outs, because I played out of order. <laughs> yeah, he jumped the order. Dude, I think you should just throw a hyzer there, man. <laughs> Hold on. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> On top, that might be OB short. Might be safe short. It might be in the ditch. Oh, that's safe. 
On top of it, we have to walk all the way back down. Look at it. She just walked, played this hole and walked all the way back. Dude, they got to change this hole. All right. Don't they? What is this? <laughs> Center cut. This is mind boggling. What are you doing? <laughs> you, you, that's the only way to get it, I you think. For the middle <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. There you go. That's the play. Okay. I need to do that, but just not run up too fast. It's 180 short. <laughs> yeah. So is that. Get underneath and skip somehow on the flat. Oh yeah, 65 footer. Just in tide C2. Huh. Oh, that's trouble. I think it flattened out. Oh no, it's in front of it. Is this, that, you lost is this it. the hole that they were talking about online? No, they're no, talking about three. hole. Three? Hole three, the one where you like lay up and then you go into that opening. Yeah. Like it wasn't that bad. No, what's wrong? What were they saying? What's wrong with it? Good luck. Good luck on this one. Hey. Yeah, I'm pissed. What's up, Rick? Yeah, mine's right here. Go ahead. This is casual, right? Heiser, as far as you can. And then go Pass all those trees. Farther. Oh, this is the hole that Andrew Fish was talking about last night. What was he saying? Oh, he was like, find a way to get to this green. Did one of you guys get a roller or something? There's no way to do a roller out of here. I mean, you could try all kinds of stuff. Mm. It's just so, it's such a headwind right now. Okay. Well. Yeah, this is awful. Awful, awful, awful. I can't believe a pro tour guy came through here and said, yep, that's pretty good. I couldn't have designed it better myself. Dude, I'm shredding right now. Put her there. I, I do, I want to say that normally when we get kind of busy about holes and the, the design, I usually feel like, ah, eh, let's give it a chance. We'll, we'll figure things out. He's spot on. This hole's kind of garbage. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It's, Oh no. He threw, he literally threw three perfect shots and bogeyed the hole. I, I spit out for birdie from 25 and it rolled. All the way down the hill. <laughs> it's, you know, when have you ever gotten a spit out that didn't roll away, right? Like, okay, so I thought last week's baskets were gonna be bad. I was like, oh, these are gonna be bad. I didn't know we were coming to these baskets the next week. I need to save my par. That's what I'm about to do. Stop by the basket. All right. No. I like the idiot. Would you be a huckleberry? What? Go an extra 20 feet. Oh. What? Nothing. Oh, way up there? <laughs> All I ask for in a hole design, challenging's acceptable and, and encouraged, but what is the might... challenge intent? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I can't figure out what the intent of this challenge is. And it smells. What's that smell? Yeah, the whole stinky. Well, we're all gonna leave without birdies. I'm glad I escaped Dude, the and bogey. then here's the thing. People are going to try to flex it, but look what they put. Deep. OB long? Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Like, the only route to the hole. You got to go over this tree stalling, but if you turn it over too much, you're OB deep. You think they didn't put it further because we have to walk all the way back? I don't necessarily mind the FPO position. That's what I'm saying. We should just tell them, hey, can we play the FPO position? It, it's probably too late, but. This is a wild thought, Yuli. What if they put it down here? 
and, and made a hyzer hole, yeah. a backhand hyzer. It could be a lefty Back, hyzer too. It could be a lefty hyzer too. That would be actually a billion times better. Like right there. I just wanted there to be like a completely right-handed hole, you know? I actually think the lefty has a better chance. Look at this. Yeah, you're flexing it over the top. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I mean, you could even throw a roller if you wanted. Yeah, if it's, it's a long, long, lefty, lefty, long clearance. Lefty. Oh, lefty roller. Hole number 12 is a par four, 763 feet. This one, you just throw over this first wall of trees and go as far as you can. And then your approach is a forehand from there, tucked around this uh, another wall of trees. So it's a tricky little green too, but uh, not much thought behind this one. You just point and shoot. OB left, huh? Uh, it's a creek, yeah. Isn't this a Sean Sinclair design course? The first year it was. I, I don't know if it still is. Gotcha. Give me your box. Because this is a completely temporary course, right? It's not. I don't know. Actually, when we get up to the baskets, let's see if they're portables. Oh, boy. Originally Sean Sinclair and then the redesign by Crushy McCrusherton. <laughs> 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 We're going to find out as a touring player that redesigned it. <laughs> yeah, one, one too bad, honestly. I, mean, I think I'm like six over now, man. It's not bad if you like out of bound shots. I think I'm on three bogeys in a row. Nice. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Nice, Jeremy. Nice. And he's ripping lately. He is. Shot, dude. Yep. Thanks. That was awesome. Fantastic stroke. You too. Mm hmm. Oh, I got way left. Yeah. I think you want to be where you are. Mine? Yep. I like being up where you're, I like swinging the forehand in more than going straight. Okay. I do like that I on this one they great. made a, they huh? built up a little deal. Yeah. That was nice of them. Big I think they're, they're both great. Points on barely covering the tree. You think they're all great? Yeah. Oh. What? Is one of those water bottles here, is one of those Julie's? Yeah. yeah. Why, you need water? Well, I brought like one of those liquid um, IV hydration oh. packs, but mm -hmm. I don't want to put it in my actual water bottle. Why? Because I like to keep that just water. Gotcha. I don't like to mix it up with stuff and then I have to go back home and wash it out with soap and get all that out of there. Yeah. Like if you're buying water, are you buying purified or are you buying spring, mountain, whatever water? Um, no, I, I don't think I have. I, I, don't, I don't typically drink water from a faucet. Okay. And people are like, oh, we've got good spring water. I'm like, still not drinking it. In I don't Europe, know. you don't drink? I, I will, but I... No, I, I grew up on like the big five gallon jugs. The hose water? No. Oh, oh, you're saying like, okay. Yeah, From yeah. like the grocery store. Yeah, you know? but those are just sink water. It looks no. pretty far. Yeah, bro. they're purified. It's just like no, basically no. putting it Don't, through a big Brita no, filter. No, We spent like 300 bucks on one of those. It's like way less, water huh? Water filters. Yeah, it's purified yeah, yeah. water. That's basically bottled water. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. We, yeah. We, yeah. We put some money into our water. Yeah, like in my RV, I have a, a water thing, like a purifier. Right. Um, all, all I'm yeah. saying, what has water ever done for me? It's time what? water pay me back. You know what I'm saying? See, natural artesian water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'll, I'll make sure like I'm buying spring or natural water. I don't, I don't drink purified if I'm buying it. Okay. Because I could just get that out of a faucet, you know? Yeah. There you go. Skip go in. in. Skip in. Oh, off the band. Was it? Yeah, yes. Band-aid? <laughs> band yeah, yeah band-aid. Band oh, what? That's probably 264 was probably my issue. I'm 270, so you were probably 295. Oh. Damn. Way off. I think, I think he missed Sam's the basket. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I hit the band because it skipped straight somehow. It just went straight up. Nice. Bird. That's there. Bullseye. Really? Yeah, bullseye. That was such a poor shot. It was. 
Pretty bad. Oh boy. <laughs> Make up for that little spit out. Balance, baby, yin and yang. Dude, you guys should get cupcake for one of these rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna hear you guys argue. <laughs> hey, remember, no spoilers, bro. Oh yeah. He, uh, cupcake beat me last week. <laughs> If I, so if, I get, I think. if I get sponsored by water, if water contacts me, the CEO of water. Did he? I think so. I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'd like to thank my sponsor of water. Then I'm going to probably give a lot of my free product to like the countries that need water the most. And I'm just going to drink the rest of it, I think. Because I think a non-paid sponsorship is just from the ground. Right? That's right. It's yeah. not a paid sponsorship. Or you get, a, or you, it's a you free get, product. You can get sponsored by like a rainwater, rain catching water company. <laughs> I feel like we're all kind of, in a way, sponsored by rainwater right now, with Todd Rainwater being the owner of the Disc oh, Golf Pro Tour. Rep. Majority owner. Nice hands. Majority owner. Yeah. Did you throw another germ? No, just one bad shot that I got away with, and that's it. You didn't throw this goose one? Who do you think is throwing the goose one? Let's see. It's goose. Oh, Aaron <laughs> Goose Goss? It's not that hot, so he must not be that far in front he's of He's not here. He's not at this event? No, I promise he's not here right now. Who's that? Goose Man's at the house. He was sleeping when I woke up. Goose Man's at the house. Goose Man's at the house. Yeah, here we go Goose now. Gooseman's at the house. Gooseman's at the house. Where is that now? Gooseman's at the house. Signature hole out here. I love how it challenges the best players in the world. The forehand, the forehand <laughs> roller hole? So stupid. Is that what they said? <laughs> no, it's just Paul's take on oh. the idea of it. It's not my take. That's what it is. That's what it is, but it's still your take on it. Is there a different take? Well, I mean, have you heard, have you heard <sighs> them quoted as saying that? No. Then that's your take, bro. Have you heard them quoting and saying anything else? No. Have you heard another pro thinking that? And have you heard that before with people who design holes like that? Yeah. Okay, so what's, what's the other take? <laughs> well, there's no other take, but you ah! you're not actually quoting the course designer because he didn't actually say I that. I never said you know. that. I didn't say that. You didn't say that. I was playing pretend. <laughs> All right, 741, part four. I was pretending. Gooseman's at the house. Who needs three minis? Sure. Four minis. Hole 13, par four, 741 feet. This one is a doozy downhill OB left side. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like they may have even brought the OB a little bit tighter on this right side, which makes the shot very, very challenging. You wanna get as far down the fairway and as close to that wood line on the right to give yourself the best chance at going down this tight tunnel with out of bounds on the left and right side all the way down. This is a very specific par four, very challenging, and if wind is present, you're gonna feel like a champion for getting the birdie on this one. You used to it, dude. Huh? Wave of the future, bro. I know what I was saying, I was just trying to, trying to see what 38 feels like. Feels pretty good, dude. Is that can can? Hmm? <laughs> Dude. It actually moves pretty huh? easily. Looks good on you. I can yeah. get you one if you want. How about it? I kind of yeah. push strollers like this. I'm so. telling you, dude. Yeah. I've asked a few people, like, why aren't they using carts yet? And Do you the, don't use your cup holder? I'm going to, I use it sometimes. I've got like a, a skinny, tall water bottle that fits in there perfectly. It doesn't fit my big Yeti, so. Gotcha. It's good for like, like the smaller Gatorades mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I use it for towels. I use it for the range finder sometimes. Gotcha. I use Who's it for a lot of things. Is it? Oh, you did yeah, it? Did I it, did yeah. it. But the, the number one response that I get from people why they don't use a cart yet is, oh, my friends will make fun of me for it. <laughs> why? Because you're saving yourself from picking up your bag 80 times around. Like, what's wrong with that? Like, Yeah, what's the deal? Hope I'm not what's throwing that? 80 shots. OK, maybe not 80. A little oh. bit of an exaggeration. What's um, the deal with that, dude? I just don't have the space now. Seriously. Bro, it takes up no space. I've seen it collapse. Yeah. <sighs> you should just throw a forehand. It's a good shot. Thanks. It was, thanks. 
He's going to throw a 2% sidearm right to my drive. <laughs> I throw forehand here as well. I would too. I didn't have a cruddy one. Pass mine. That's OB, right, though? No. Ooh, safe. It's kind of like a headwind. Perfect. Huh? I'd like it to be a little more left, but. Yeah, it could skip OB. But I don't think you'll. you'll I love that. You'll do that again. Nice, dude. I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive. You should throw that cicada, Yuli. Oh, okay. Cicada giveaway. Just got to pop it on a nice little hyzer. A little more aggressive. Pretty stable. Let's hey, oh. flip over. Watch this. <clears throat> Ooh, I think it flies it. money. What? Stability? Hit the stake. Oh, dang. A little more stable than I thought. Oscar Bravo. Can you spell your name phonetically? Like right now? No. Can you, Paul? What's phonetically? Like, I think phonetically, right? Isn't that what... What's, what's the... Oh, God, I'm going to sound like an idiot if I get like this Like the one. opposite side? No, when you say P as in A as in... You as in Ella, you know what I'm saying? Do you know yeah. all the uh, like like the, the actual alphabet? ones or just using like a random? Yeah, you know, the one? actual ones. No, uh, no, P as in Paul. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, yeah. I P think, as I in think Paul. he. Uh, yeah. A as in uh, Alpha. Yep. B as in. Oh, you're going boy. with okay. Yeah, it is you, phonetic. Okay, so U is umbrella. L. No, it's it's actually Papa. Yeah, P is Papa. I just learned these like two days ago. Um, yeah, so so P is Papa, uh, A really? is Alpha. Really, P is Papa. U, uh -huh. U is Umbrella. Um, L is. Uh, Come on, you got this. Lima. Yeah, Lima. No, and and U is actually uniform. Uniform. That's right. Yep. U is uniform. Right uniform. Do we go midi here or what? There's never any ground action, but it looks drier than previous years. What'd you say? 365? T is Tango. Tango. And Fox H. Trot. Uniform. Circle. Charlie. Kilo. No, I'll throw this again, actually. The cicada. Oh. It's still working. Oh. It's getting a little humid out here, huh? Oh, here, I'll throw my cicada. Annie. This is what I got it for. Yeah, you got a little Annie. That's what is that? Way too soft. Oh, oh, what a kick. Good. That was my cicada. Try to power this thing real quick. Yeah, I Woo! like that shot better. Flat enough. That's a Luna. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. Nice shot. Thank you. Wow, what are those donuts or something? Something smells like donuts? Oh, I could go for something good right now. I'm Doesn't hungry. Doesn't that smell like a donut Yeah, it does like smell like donut food. From it does smell like a circus. It's oh, honest, it smells like it, a food truck. It smells truck. like a donut place that you could get. Oh, <laughs> elephant ears. Is that what you're smelling? Or like uh, a fried kinda. Oreo? No, I'm smelling like the... This has to be a food Fred. truck right here. Fred yeah. Earth, that's exactly it. Yep. Uh, isn't that an elephant ear? I mean, same kind of thing. I think elephant ear maybe is it, is cinnamon. They both have cinnamon. One has apple. One has some. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Roadrunner, germ. <laughs> yeah, please. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's nice just shot. hit the angle and make one. This is a pretty good hole. Drop. Yeah, this is a great hole. Ob. Oh, baby. Ooh. Oh. That looked great. Thanks. Is there a basket out there that launches putters more than these? No, these, like, when they deflect, they just like, don't slow down. Like, I hit the top, and I thought I was going to go OB if it weren't for Oh, the yeah, tree. the tops. Well, that's one of the reasons with the flagpole is also important is... I... A for some reason, of all the uh, baskets that have been designed with the band incorporated. 
The disc catcher is the only one that's implemented the sloped top, so you don't get this ramp. And I don't so, understand why the others haven't followed suit because they were the. They don't want to copy. So I've been waiting for know. this to but happen. But all they're sure. doing is copying all the other ones. Yeah. So I'm gonna let people know a secret out there. Okay. Uh oh, I'm on top of the basket, but on like the prodigy oh. buckets and the Innova chains. If you're touching a chain, counts. Yeah, because you're supported by a chain. Literally. Yeah. Bro, good luck fighting that one in court. How could you get argued differently if your disc is on a chain? Yeah, it's not much different than this. You're, it's good. Bro. Right? <laughs> it's just a, a, a fly I on the roof. I dare you to but... tap out on the last hole by putting your disc on top of the basket. I'll do it. <laughs> and then trying to get I'll, that one. Yeah. Why, oh how my, could you not? Oh my gosh. Because it's supported by a chain. Internet would explode. Oh, dude, step on this. Tell me how this works. <laughs> oh my god. Holy That's a medieval death that torture is. weapon. You think, it, you think if I toss it to Yuli, he can catch it without catching a spike? That thing is wild. Where do you put it? It's safe. Why do, I, why do I want to see you put dumbbells on the side of it and just start doing curls like you're like... Catch it without catching a spike. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm not tossing No, Brad, get it. No. Brad, no, even though... Okay, you don't want to do it, but I, I want to throw it to him. <laughs> That's like the um, freaking, what is it, walking dead bat. That's like, that's like those barbed wire baseball bats. No, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. That's terrifying. Oh, did they take the OB off the left? Oh, no, they just put a netting here <laughs> for safety. Oh, it looks like they might have cleared some stuff. They oh, did. the tree that was in the middle? They cleared the tree that was in the middle. Look at that. It's yeah. gone. Yeah. Hole 14 is a par 3, 294. Left to right bender through a really small gap. Out of bounds surrounds the whole entire basket. This is going to take uh, somebody that has a lot of touch to get this one to land in bounds every time. You're going to see flex plays maybe with overstable putters and drivers possibly and some sidearm layups from... Yeah, Paul. Ooh. Oh, go. God, I hate when I do that. That was... That was gonna hurt. So dumb. It's on every T pad that has a drop off. I go. Oh yeah. Yep. Instead of you don't want. Dude, you could die. <laughs> I do this like short, stupid stroke. I just need to tee off from way back. But it makes the back small. The See, gap is small. Roller. That's really what he's doing here. Oh my gosh. Oh, perfect. Look at this trick. This is what you need right here. Is that yeah, uh, good. parked? Looks like it. Looks like it's parked. Hurry. No. No, but we're working with this new artist, Germ. I don't know if I told you, you'd really like him. He's your kind of style. What's that mean? He does stuff that you would like. Yeah? Yeah. What's his name? I want to check him out. His name's on Instagram. It's Dano Art. Dano Art? Yeah. I think I, may, I think I may know him. Yeah, you probably do. Let me, let me check him out. But he's designing some stuff for us. He redesigned our logo and made some, he's making some stamps right now for Dylan and I. Let me see if I'm following this guy. D-A-Y. Dan Walsh? No, no. D-A-Y-N-O. Oh, D-A-Y. Yeah. Deo art. Oh. What? D-A-Y-N-O. Oh, Dano. Dano. Like day and then, no. yeah, him. Whoa! <laughs> you guys got a hold of this guy? Yeah. No kidding! Yeah, he's sick. Bro, I've been following this guy for a while. Dude, he's the same dude, size he's as He's wild. You. He's 6'6". He's six, six. Is he really? 6'6", six, six, big, yeah. Oh, dude, I... I, I, that's why I recognize him. I didn't. That's yeah. incredible, dude. He's gonna do some really trippy stuff. Yeah, I'll show you one that he's doing for us right now. Oh my gosh, he's the perfect person to fill out a disc. Mm -hmm. There we go. Drop in. Oh. oh, that was my best part of the day so far, though. Um, yeah, he's actually. It's funny, is he's out in the San Diego area. Okay. 
and then Dylan got traded there. Have you spent? Have you talked to him? Yeah, we've had some conversations. He seems like he'd be like have the best sense of humor. Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's, so it's like two like Zeus. This is a Zeus with the yeah, yeah, uh, lightning bolts and all sorts. I'm of stuff. guessing he's never done anything disc golf related before. No, no. Was he familiar with the sport? Yes. Good putt. Thank good birdie. That was trickster. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that was a good way to birdie it. Trixie Hobbitses. All right, hole 15, 1,129 feet. It's just rip it as far as you can with OB on the left and right, and then it's rip it as far as you can over the trees. And then it's typically an elevated basket. So it's, I would say it's a fairly easy par five, but uh, the OB can come into play quickly off the first shot. Oh boy. What? Should be fine. What the hell is the oh. wind doing? What are you at, Jerm? I was at four. I don't know what I'm at. I think I'm at uh, even. That's what I was expecting mine to do. Mine's flippy though. Huh. But I wish I could throw that where I was aiming. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine and all, but I just wish I could hit a line. <laughs> I was like aiming at that tree trying to throw a high turnover and I just ripped it down the middle no flat. <laughs> I can throw it as far as I want, right? It's like, there's no problem in... There's, uh, OB. there's OB right now. Yeah. He's already really? Oh, I see it. <laughs> that might be OB left. That might be in the stuff. It's fine. Uh, it skipped in the. Is that like, it's like 100 short, isn't it? Oh, it's way short, but. But, like, yeah. but am I going to even have an access to the green? You skipped into the crap, so I don't, th I don't think so. Oh, I'm hitting angles right now. Oh, I'm hitting angles. Dude, it's been a, it's been a while. What, hit your line? Yeah, twice in a row. What? No, the first one you didn't hit your line. I know, but that's why I said I threw the second one, I hit the line, and then I just hit it again, twice in a row. Oh, I see, yeah, the, uh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Including a practice shot, you got two in a row. Yeah. Might be able to shut the haters up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you a lot of our fans I mean, we get, we got so many new fans all the time. So it's like, most people don't know you personally. And they probably don't know that you used to be quite the baseball star. Yeah, you're good. Mm -hmm. so you took baseball, like, how far were you from going to the next level with baseball? Or like, well, how I mean, far did you take it? That's, I wouldn't say I was close to going like pro or anything. But I played, I played until I was 20. Yeah. It's like, like there's nothing but competitive leagues up well, until that age, like some of my teammates, like one of my teammates that I was playing like when I was like 19 and 20 plays on the Rays right now. Okay. Like he's still in the league. Yeah. Playing for the Rays. Like we knew he was really good. Um, and there's some other players from that league that are in the. What I remember is the there league, was a point where you were at, a, at like a crossroads where you were trying to decide whether or not you wanted to pursue disc Cor golf or not. Correct. And yeah. at a certain point you made the decision and you stuck with it and we're all thankful you did, but like. Yeah, so it was 2010 and I was playing baseball. So I was just about 19, 20 at that age. And I told my coach, I said, hey coach, like there's this tournament I really want to go play. Um, and it was the Worlds in Kansas City. So I was like, I'm going to go out or no, not Kansas City. Indiana. Indiana, yeah. And I was like, I'm going to go play this. And I took 11th, I believe, yep. without playing disc golf. Like, I was just all baseball. And I was like, man, like, if I'm taking 11th without practicing and I'm just training like I'm playing, base, excuse me, baseball. Yeah. Like, how good can I be? And then the next year, 2011, I won Memorial. Then I won Beaver State. Then 2012, I won World. And it just kept going. So I just yeah. kept training like I was in baseball, but I was playing disc golf. 
That's perfect, right? Sure. Yeah, that's essentially perfect. If you like being 30 short. Yeah, that's... C C2. The line was perfect. C2 King, I didn't see your shot. C2 King? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not good. You gotta look for that's par. Tough shot. Yeah. I don't think this is possible. Yeah, yeah I didn't think it's easy. Either. You're going over the top? No, I'm gonna throw oh. it, Annie. The left to right wind made my shot absolutely impossible. <laughs> like, I think you got a window though. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, perfect. Go. Eh. It actually rolled back up the hill. Huh? It rolled back up the hill. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <laughs> We need like a triple bogue right here to have a chance. Yeah, I don't think I'm... I haven't missed this yet. Sweet. Oh boy, yank the piss out of it. Time it better, there you go. There you go. Sponsor. So weird sponsor. to judge what that's gonna do. One lifts, one drops, one straight right. There you go. Oh, I got a birdie. McBirdie? Yeah. McBogey. Back to even par. Charging late. Back to Mc3. Dude, look at, look at my shoe. Oh, is that one of those, yeah, those it's one thorns? Yeah, one of these sticks. Check this out, Jack. <laughs> That's so close to going in your foot, too. I know. This very easily could have just... Jeez. <laughs> Oh, are you serious? On the side of the foot where there's no rubber to protect me. That one actually stuck my foot. Bro, stop it. Ow. Hole 16, par four, 574 feet. This one plays essentially as another horseshoe, a layup forehand. Um, you want to go maybe 315 feet but where you land is incredibly important. There's basically two different pockets where you have a second shot where you can access another big forehand to the green. Um, there is a crazy play over the top that we've seen sometimes, but because there's out of bounds long up there, what ends up happening a lot of times when people try this shot is they either cut roll OB or they just air it short and end up not being a good shot. So you're gonna see most people go down the route, but if it's needed to last round, maybe you'll see someone play for the crazy eagle. I miss the days of the hyzer. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, crafter. I think that's perfect. I think. Like, I couldn't tell. Like 300? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, the second one just straight poke the side of my shoe. I could access the uh, early route, maybe. That was awful. Okay. But it could. But that's a terrible place to be. I like that. Oh, no. No? Oh, it depends on if you hit the gap. I, hey, I, I don't really know how to like do the right shot off the tee, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's, I feel like it's just kind of a, a luck shot almost in some ways. Pick the right disc and just throw it the right distance and then just hope that you have a line. Mm -hmm. That's yours, right? No, oh, I did yours. black. I went back here. Oh, I'm right here. Perfect. Where the hell did I go? Probably in the ditch. I think you skipped over the ditch. Oh, I'm right in it. I'm all right with this. I'll take it. I guess it was perfect. I'd say so. In the basket. Oh, uh, that's so far. Yeah, we're only 260 from like the ditch. I saw mine fly by the orange tassels. Uh, like he's way far too. Oh, uh, maybe not as far. 
It's water, so casual right here, right? Yep. Cashmere. Cashmere. Get right, you silly little dingus. How'd you like that, uh, that they're going to put us all in the same cardigan this week? No, they're not. Every week, it's going to be all poles. <laughs> 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 I was going to make a post. Actually, did you see the picture of the four of us? Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. I think they photoshopped it. Really? Yeah. All right, see it. I didn't get tagged or something. No, you have to go search it. Is Omen that much taller than us? Yes. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> Is Omen that much taller than us? Or did I Photoshop it? So did you did you hear the breakdown online? No. You got goat Paul. You got extra small Paul. You got tall Paul and you got old Paul. <laughs> you got called old Paul. I know. I was like, I didn't. Somebody posted that. I'm like, I didn't know I was tall. <laughs> said, I didn't know I was tall, Paul. Freaking. <laughs> Omen's like 38 or something. No, Omen's like 40, 42 or 43, I think. No. No. He, yeah, he's Masters. No. Yep. Omen? Yeah. No. That doesn't seem right. No. It doesn't make it any better, Yuli, but he's 40 something. <laughs> and you got called old? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a, that was a great looking putt. <laughs> Looks like it's me. Now that you marked. How does that drop? That doesn't make any sense. It happened to me twice in our round. The slam? Yeah. Yeah. So the Paul, the Paul card, the only, the best name I heard was Paul Patrol. That was it. The Paul Patrol? Yeah. That's, that's a good one. People were pretty obnoxious with it, honestly. It was pretty obnoxious. I don't want to do it again. Cause like I'm, no one- I'm glad they did it. Huh? Yeah, me Personally, too. Personally, I'm glad they did it. Like having fun with the card, so, why not? So Kranz told me how it happened. Kranz said that just by chance, the three of us got, me, Omen, and Yuli got put together. Okay. He said by chance. He said he had like a 10 a.m. tea time and then they switched it and put him on the Paul card. That's great. And he said the lefty card was by accident too because then they stuck Arlinghouse on it later. I, so, I, I mean, why not? There was only one other name where there's four people. They should do a card where it's me, Tall Paul, A.B. and Gannon. Yeah, the two meter club? The two meter club, dude. Hole 17, par five, 900. 72 feet, out of bounds left, right, kind of meanders right to left. So if you want to get aggressive, you can go over this tall wheat field to the correct landing zone, or you can throw it over here on the right hand side and then try to throw a flex shot over the top of the, of the trees. Pretty tricky par five here. Over the top of the trees, get to another landing zone, and then it's like 300 feet away from there. Kind of a tough hole to describe. It's a, it's a new tee pad. Yeah, they moved it over to the right. To the left, but yeah. To the left. Left, if it was on your guys' perspective. And that's all, that's about all we got. I'm gonna absolutely launch this one. Left. Yeah. Left. Ah. Is this straight tail? Feels like it. Left to right. All right, perfect. Cross. Just what I was looking for. Did you see that? Did you just come out of the earth? It, yeah, like the whole tee pad like lifted up or dropped. This is like a, a restaurant Whoa. where you need to grab some paper towels and put them underneath there. <laughs> yeah, under the table so it stops moving. He gave you a safe sign, I think. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was <clears throat> Oh, you suck, dude. Can I get my, uh, 
Were you ever aware of the uh, the list of players that you had never beaten before? Were you ever like, no? Probably too small of a deal for you. Who had a list? I had a list. Oh, you're talking about your list? Yeah, um, well, I mean, like, I'm not saying, like, were you aware of my list? I'm saying, like, when you were coming up, were you ever aware of, like, who you had never beaten before or anything like that? No, I beat everyone, like, pretty early in my career. Yeah. yeah but I that's know. because, like, Vegas was there at Memorial, and I took fifth and tenth, so there weren't yeah. many people. I, uh, the last person that I never beat. Oh, was, dang, mine. <laughs> the last person that I, that I finally beat was Nate Doss. Uh-huh. My favorite story about it was, like, we were playing a final nine together, and I clearly still wasn't going to beat him at this tournament because yeah. he beat me by, like, ten. Yeah. And I went up to him, and I told him, I was like, hey, man. You're the last person I haven't ever beat before. Uh huh. And he just like stopped what he was doing. He turned to me and he just went, "You never will." <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Whoa, that was crazy. That's perfect. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it's only because nice the wind. I really don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think I. I think I pretty much beat everyone that wasn't like an East Coast only player in my first year. Yeah, that makes sense. So who does AB have the best chance of being the first Am Worlds player to win uh, Worlds? I think so. At this point, yeah. Actually, the question is, did he win Am Worlds? Who? AB. Yeah. Yeah, he won. He won at like 15. <clears throat> Remember against Isaac McDonald? Okay, that was for Am, not Junior? Yep. That's right. Actually, I think he might have been 14. Oh, look at that advertisement. Nate Doss. They might just do the same thing again. I like it. It's Watch not out a, for those branches, though. It's not a good win, though. I almost have to go left of the basket. That went way further left than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to get pushed this way. Slow down. Oh, the honeysuckles. What did I throw it to there? I'm subbing Brad in for this shot. Okay. okay. Nice, Brad. Oh, heads up. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Josh. <laughs> All right, classic move, old school. That was good. Anyone throw an FD? Nah. If this drops. Why is there cactus out here? Why is there naturally occurring cactus? What the heck? Thank you. Isn't that weird? What? Yeah, it was actually in the fairway as well up here. There's like actual cacti back there. That's an eight-piece McNugget right there. I don't know why I don't remember. How to... That's right to left. That's where it's going to go every time. All right, hole 18, 520 feet. Similar tee box, very elevated, but now the basket's much more to the left and in the trees. So we're going to see how to play this one. I think it's just I think it's just throw in the trees and play it from there. Pop it there. This thing's, you, bud. This thing's going hey, 700 Cheers. Feet. Thanks for coming, Paul. Thanks for finally yeah. being on the show, dude. Yeah, Love having you, man. Thank you. Next time I'll play better. Thanks for inspiring Next the entire time I generation. Won't be so grumpy. All right, that's fair. You hear me? Yeah. Thank you, seriously. I'll continue to inspire as push, much as I can. Push the sport to heights that I don't think any of us saw when we started playing this game as a hobby in yeah. the just, late two thousands, man. Just tell it. 
AB to let me be his agent. And then, <laughs> yeah, right? I can yeah. help push it. The amount of money that those kids are going to make in their careers, <laughs> large in part to the stuff that you did, man. I thought, that was, I thought that was gonna glide a lot further to the left. I kinda liked it. Did yeah, you? that was pretty good. I don't know how it worked out. I don't know how it worked out either, but I, I liked it. Teta. Yeah, Teta. <clears throat> Kristen said Teta, Teta. What does that mean? It's just uh, like, what's up, what's up? All right, fair, fair. I don't know if that's like, Shorty boy, or I'm just gonna good. rip this down the hill. Oh, it's another. Moto. Look at the T signs. Funny. Moto. <laughs> you said Moto. <laughs> you spoke French. Too. I mean, Finnish one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I parked it. All right, let's try this forehand thing. Did you ever play ultimate frisbee for fun or anything? Um. Uh, probably more so recently than ever before. Like I never like played catch with like a frisbee. Yeah, you didn't. So disc golf was your first frisbee-based sport. Yeah. yeah. How did you find it? Uh, my dad played for a long time. So okay. I've known about disc golf probably since I was very young, but I never really started playing it until I was a teenager. Uh huh. So like I was pulled out to the course when I was a kid, but I would go like ride my bike at the course. You know, at, like uh -huh. long ride on all those trails. And yeah. HB and stuff like that. So I would do that versus uh, play. Okay. The exposure. Mm -hmm. So I've known about it for a long time. Right. Oh boy, that's a skip it in non-effort. But this tree really is annoying. All right, need this birdie. <laughs> I literally thought it was just gonna lift. Like that. Now would've, that would've been all the way there if it weren't for, it would've been long. It doesn't take much time. You wanna know when I developed that signature? Six time? Five time. One, after One winning time? my first Worlds and Everyone just came mobbing around in Charlotte because yeah. you remember how packed it was. Yeah. And it was like they brought me a stool so I could just sit there and sign. Yeah. And, like, and I had my other signature and I was like, this is taking forever. Yeah, no, I so like I it. So I adjusted it. It's after. actually artsy for being so quick, which I appreciate. Yeah. We just finished 18 holes here at Mill Ridge. Uh, readjusted hole numbers. Some holes have been tweaked, some of them have completely changed. We learned a lot. We complained a bit. Mm -hmm but we braved the conditions, the heat and the wind. It was kind of a tricky little day, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, coming out here later again to play. Today? Yeah. Second round, dude, you're in shape. I think I'm gonna too. Sweet, yeah, me too, guys, big time <laughs> for sure. Well, we have the Cicada to give away to one of you lucky fans. All you have to do is be our Patreon and you will be automatically entered. Obviously, we already got this thing signed up. Thank you for throwing and competing with us. Somebody take it. I'll hold it, no worries. Um, Three round tournament here this weekend, <laughs> just outside Nashville. So we are here for the Music City Open 2024 edition. This is the sixth stop now on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. We're like yeah. firmly in the mix now. Yeah. yeah, major next week. And a major next week. So this is a good time preparation for everyone to lock it down, get things going. Can't thank Paul enough for joining us as a yeah, guest. Thank man. you. Long time coming. Appreciate you and We're all you We're gonna have done. you again soon. I hope so. I'm free, yeah. Except next week. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Okay, so winning at five under, I believe, was myself. How'd you get to five under? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> you were I, at three under, then you bogeyed. No, I was at four Turn under. Turn one by shooting under par. <laughs> yes. Okay. <It's laughs> firmly I'm, under I'm, par. I'm fairly certain I got to five under, but it's not, either it's four Wait, under or five under. does that mean we won? Because we add up his regular card, then two stroke <laughs> penalty, and. <laughs> Still beat you guys by enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my $500 donation and throw it to this right here the palmy beth foundation thank you for coming out here we've sent you money in the past but now we're definitely going to do it because you're here big fan appreciate it yeah all right guys that's going to do it for us here we'll see you next time